So, uh, Adam's back. Hi, Tubes. What's up? It's yeah. been a while. Yeah. So, our, our cousin, Holly, is uh, in need of brakes on this freaking thing, which I've already bought, I think it's about two years ago. I put brand new rotors in, I put brand new brake pads, and we went all motocraft on this thing. And right now, I don't know if you can see this, but, but we're like... I think she's about, she's like literally 5% on her brakes. So, uh, me and Adam have been drinking for a little bit now. But the, the last, what, three to four hours? Something like that. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy. I'm starting to lose my buzz. But. Uh, that's okay, because Holly is going to the market to get us an 18 rack of Coors Banquet. So so I think the last time that this car was featured on the show, I can't remember. It was either, uh, I changed, I remember I changed the alternator, and I think maybe you did a video. Oh, yeah. No, we, we both, I've done the alternator twice on this little bastard. And so we did a video... Um, it was, yeah, it was probably like, what, three, four years ago. Yeah. We did a video, and, and it was a second round, and still, people were just hating on the video. And so, we're hoping. Oh, yeah, because I took it out from the back side of. Yeah, and people were like, I didn't show the right, and the camera was like, doing this, and I'm like. So, we're going to do another, hopefully, hate-filled Ford Focus repair video. <laughs> A drunken, hate-filled, freaking. I, I just want everybody to know that I don't know if I can focus on this project right now. Dad, <laughs> get it? Focus. So, so what we're gonna, all we're doing is just we're just doing brake pads because, like I mentioned just a few seconds ago. Can you even look at her rotors. They're they're okay. They're oh, have... it's all motocraft. I put we're in two years ago. I I swear to God, like it's like. All motor crap, and she does all like high, she's constantly driving this thing. So, uh, uh, Holly, if you watch this video, I hope you're not a last minute breaker because you're gonna, yeah, this the, the motor craft brake pads, I swear to god. But what on, were they, semi metallics uh, on the upside, as long as it doesn't stop like wear like shit, or no, no, what, what was it? It wears like iron, stops like shit. That's that's what you don't want. If it if it breaks like a champ and then wears like shit, okay, I, I can handle that. I'm hoping that's the case. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tripod. I'm gonna set it up and we're just gonna record and just go. You know, if you really need, I'm not gonna go into that drunken thought. And then they're gonna complain about how the wind is like in the camera, like. I'm in a breezy spot, okay? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking whiners. And then I got pizza sauce like on. Oh my god, it's everywhere. <laughs> you got it How on. did I get pizza sauce all over me? What the hell? You got pizza stuff all over me. Adam's just breaking all the. He's busting a nut right now. Busting many nuts. He's busting <laughs> nuts. Oh, yeah. Nuts everywhere. I'm gonna... Okay, so they're busted loose on both sides now. So now we're gonna put the e brake on so we don't have any accidents when we get it on the jack stand. And then when someone's like, well, you should block the wheels. I'll take care of that right now. Well, I should block your mom because she's a fatty! Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what, I don't know what Todd would be like, your mom's cookies are delicious. Uh, what were they, cream filled? <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna get sponsored by anybody. You guys are a bunch of alcoholics. Like, oh, that's the only way to work on stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sponsored by Bud Light. <laughs> and Ford Banquet slash Bud Light. Uh, well, just, speaking of which, I think I'm gonna grab us another beer. So. Yeah, gra grab a couple. I can use a couple. All right, where do I jack the sun up? 
I'm gonna jack it right on the frame rails. Yeah, buddy. I wanted to check uh, wheel bearing play. Full of beer today, sir. <laughs> I think I've had a six-pack. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. I barely got this wheel up off the ground. Oh, that's why I felt it spilling shit. That wheel was like freaking off the ground. Oh, really? Well, I got both sides busted, so. All right, so I need to go find our seat clamp. It's in the back. Oh, yeah, nice tight wheel bearings. Suspension's tight. Don't have to worry about that. And, and this the, car has. In the mystery clock? No. Bag on the bench. Remember, there's tools slightly organized on the bench. Okay. For, for end of my defense, this is a weird concept for Godson's garage. <laughs> to be able to find tools that you need. I used to it being this, this massive. I don't know how we do it. This always ends up really bad. Then we clean it. Then it gets cleaned up, then it gets organized, and then you put them all where you think you can find them, and then it's like, that's the abyss of I don't know what the fuck's in there. Then anymore. you find out that some of the stuff you could have just thrown away and it sat on the trailer. Some of it's in the trailer. If there's something you don't want thrown away, go look at the trailer. Oh, God. I, I, there's a lot of stuff in the trailer. Mother of God! <laughs> Jimmy, what was wrong with that engine again? What, the little go-kart engine? Yeah. Well, the engine was full of water, and then when I went to move it, it wouldn't turn all the way. Mm -hmm. I think I think the, the piston and cylinder bore were kind of fucked over. Oh, that one there, someone put a longer uh, spark plug in it. I was like, why is this thing burning oil and low on compression? I pulled the, the cylinder head off and I got video of it. Somebody put a longer spark plug in it and it, when they went to it yank on it, it, it hit. So when you look at the piston, right where the spark plug goes through, there's a big old indentation. And then something broke off and it was all beat, beaten on the side of the cylinder wall. So it's got these massive Didn't grooves. Didn't you switch the engines out of this? Yeah! That's the one from the edger that somebody fucked over the edger. So that same engine I put on there, hosed. So you've got to hone it out or remachine it and put a bigger piston in. No, because I was thinking, because we need an engine for the for the pipe go-kart project we were thinking about. Yeah. We need to source a motor. I mean that one runs, it's just it's You know what we should do? set up. See, that's why I would... God damn it. That was in the bag. How did you even... <laughs> I don't know. It jumped like the fuck out. See, that's when I got pissed off at a customer. And you come into my store uh, and you're asking for a long guard and stuff. Okay, I can do that. But I need your spark plug. I need the part number off it. Because I can't give you a spark plug. Oh, well, I don't... Because you're going to do something like that. You're going to get it too long and you guess you... It might be the same thread pitch, but it's too long. You're going you're gonna to have a collision there. And then you're out big time. You're like, well, if you would have just gone. And then I had the, and then I had the guy that's looking at me there in the face, and he's looking at me like this. You, what do you mean you can't look it up? <laughs> I don't have info. I don't know anything about this. I don't have info on it. I was thinking we, we, we either, maybe we just blow that engine up. Will it run? Oh yeah, you gotta throw some ether down its throat, but yeah, it'll run. It'll start once. It'll start. Oh, it'll run and it'll rev out till it's freaking. Life well, let's get a clutch for it, and we'll stick it on a go kart. We're gonna we're gonna get that. We'll order that performance car off of the that moped site I found. Yeah. And slap that sucker on there with the with the with, with fancy filter. Boom! Just, oh, I gotta find the bigger Allen wrenches. Oh, it's one of those jobs. Yeah, it's all retarded and stuff. Oh, it's not these ones. Should get new rotors. I know. Okay, so with a rotor like this, you got two options. You can either 
replace it, or you can go places like Napa, O'Reilly's, and ba some Baxters in Oregon, they'll make and resurface these rotors. It's going to be half the cost of buying it new. I wonder if this has got a big enough chooter in it to shove in her hole. So on the 2006 Ford Focus, they use these like Allen head type guide pins for the brake calipers. So I'm just trying to find a tool that will fit in there and not slip so I can break it free. Then you let it fall and see if it does really. I We might be doing some stupid shit because I'm drunk. And by the way, I forget the information. I don't drink all the time. So God, don't go there. Yeah. What the hell? Aren't those stars? I know they are. Son of a bitch. I think it sounds like we might have to get ourselves some parts. I think we're going to have to run down the hardware store or something. We might have to go to a... We might have to go over to them. What time is it right now? Find one? Yeah. I don't know where it is. It's right here. This one is good. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, so tubes. I didn't, don't have the right tool for this, but I happened to use a T45 star. 10 millimeter inch in and quite a few beers. And this is what a mechanic so being all about is figuring out how to get it how to get it out the best way. Use your brain. With with the tools that you don't have. <laughs> the, with the incorrect tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're like, well we would have had it. Believe but that was... it or not, on the workbench should be a baby ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. What? But at this point I think I'm almost I'm almost I, I can get it. Bring me that pack of brake pads there. Mm -hmm. I got my C clamp. We got the C clamp. Oh, oh, there it is. I it yeah, there. I already grabbed it. Oh yeah, it's not the magazine. I think since this is a Ford, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use an old brake pad and squeeze it down. You don't even show how to do the blah blah blah. I'm like, well, whatever, dude. Okay, so you got two style pads. You got this one with the metal bracket on the back of it. Which goes in the cow. Oh, and you got this one. If you can't figure out which one of these go in where, you shouldn't be doing your brakes. Yeah. Because it should be self-explanatory. I'm like, well, it's got some metal thing on it, so we obviously can't go on the back of that thing. Is that, is that the, that 7.3, that's the gas engine? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I am going to go out there and I am going to mess with that guy so hard. If he's really like how James explained, oh, I'm... Oh, no, I heard him over the phone. I am going to have a heyday. Talking about... You know, uh, I need a set of wiper blades. Is it four-wheel drive? <laughs> no! side-wheel drive. All you have to do is find the guy that has the most uh, illiterate, non-car knowledgeable guy, and you're going to ask him if he, want, if he had his radio for a 1965 VW Beetle. <laughs> And if he can't find that, and, it, and keep insisting it has one, and then he he's going to be flabbergasted to find it's air cold. But he's probably too stupid to figure it out. We have to check the fitment of the new screws. Sometimes when I was working on our parts, because just because these have the the hardware with them, bring your old stuff with you. Double check them because they don't always fit right. They're not going to always go on there right. There, maybe there's a manufacturing error or something silly that's going on. It just doesn't work. And then you're like, well, crap. I bought these brand new brake pads to put this old hardware back in there. What the hell? I know, right? Like what I had to do with the Honda? Yeah. You really had to do that with the Honda? Well, luckily I replaced that hardware a couple years ago. Huh, what a coincidence. Two years ago, I replaced the brakes on both the Honda and... The Ford Focus. And here we are. I've already replaced the brakes on the Honda, and now I'm doing the Focus. And I swear to God, that was the same order as the last time. Oh boy. Yeah, always grease up your parts. Look at that. That's like 5%. Oh man. Well, she's close to destroying the rudder already. 
They're okay. They're okay. Gonna, all right, so we got our 3M silicon paste. Things I learned in the shop I worked for is you're gonna you're gonna wanna lube up your parts, all your moving parts, anything that has contact points, back of your pads, not on the pad itself. If you can't figure that out, because that's not where it goes. It's a big ass vice grip thing. Vice clip, vice grip sequel. So this wouldn't go in any further. So I'm assuming. She's out of the van. So I need... These don't seem to have any wear indicators on them, which is kind of... I guess your wear indicator is when you hear... I'll figure out how this goes here in a second. So this... Okay, so that's where I need my uh, 3M silicon paste. And that's where I'm going to dig and coat the ears, the backings. I'm not going to do the backings, we're just going to do a light coat on the wear surfaces or where the pads ride. This will help bite your pets down, by the way. They'll keep them like when they engage, they'll keep them from going, meep! Meep! Like, what is that noise? Seriously. Jesus. Oh, it's a whole one. Every time I do brakes, I'm like suddenly coated in brake dust. Hey, grab that paper. What paper? The paper from the brake pads. Oh no! <laughs> Your pads are really bad. Hmm? Your pads are really bad. Oh, I know. He was supposed to change it many months ago. <laughs> you're almost you're like, I think you're at 2%. Oh, damn. Well, sure with the new one, those new ones right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, I had bought them, what, back in January or something? And I had came out one night, but... It was like raining and yeah, kind of trying was, to snow a little bit. Yeah, it was, we just got drunk. It's just, it. Yeah. <laughs> it just was not a good <laughs> time to do brakes. <laughs> and then I tried doing the battery. I'll do the battery, and then, like, the battery was the wrong size. Yeah, I know. 70. But, no, like, when you stop... You not when I stop. Just shaking all that's all that I'm worried about. I don't. Want to, as long as you're not shaking when you stop, that's. I'm okay. That's what, yeah, but the bad that. case is, uh, since these rotors are like that, there's a chance that they might wear your brake pads faster. Because you see the grooves right here. Yeah. This this will just make these pads wear like that, but it, it could make them wear faster than they should. So. Is that because the brakes I rode for too long, so it ground them a little bit? No, it's okay. it, this is just how they wore in. Oh, okay. So if these don't last very long, we'll just do a whole another. Okay. I got the medium grade brakes. They had a twenty dollar one. I got the forty five dollar one, and okay. they have like a sixty or sixty five. Oh, Baxter's like. Baxter's yeah, little bro. I don't like them. They suck. Hey Adam, you do me a favor, or is the car unlocked? Yeah. Can, can you just go in there and pump the brake pedal for me? I don't care who does it. Just need pump someone to pump the brake. Just pump it. Just pump the brake pedal until it tightens up. Oh. Is it getting tight? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you're good. All right, tubers. We got some new brake pads in this some bitch. Your brake hardware. Pretty easy to do. Both sides are done, everything's all torqued down. We got a nice brake pedal, we didn't have to bleed anything, so. Uh, she good to go. If I get the wheels off, rotate the tires. We could, oh, I was gonna inspect the rear brakes, but couldn't get the drums off, so I'm like, you know what? Uh, ride it until they make noise. So. Hi Tubes, we wanna play a, a, a very good game today. We wanna play, what episode is this from? 
and you might see this shortly on an upcoming episode of Johnson's Garage.